Welcome back, fourth grade scientists. Today we're going to talk about the relationship between speed and energy. By the end of this lesson, you will use evidence to describe how speed and energy are related in order to explain how energy is transferred. We're going to show you sets of pictures. Look at each pair of pictures. Which object or animal do you think moves with more energy? Which insect moves with more energy? The worm or the bee? Which object moves with more energy? The fire truck or the bicycle? Which animal moves with more energy? The rabbit or the turtle? You may have determined that the bee, fire truck, and rabbit had the most energy. What did they have in common that made you believe they had more energy? Each one of these pictures represents a real object or animal that moves at high speed. Is it possible that speed and energy are related? Let's find out. Speed and energy are related. The more speed an object has, the more energy it possesses. But how can you tell? One thing that gives a clue to how much energy an object has is the time it takes to move from one place to another. Another clue is that what happens after a collision. We'll investigate both of these clues to learn more about speed and energy. As you watch, think about what clues you can get about the energy of the monster trucks by observing the speed. Meet the orange team, the Ghost Mountain Riders. Yeah! And the blue team, the Law Dogs. Yeah! Using only the materials found here in this salvage yard, team know-how, and some heavy-duty tools, these men have built two 4.5 metric ton monster trucks from the ground up. I'm easy, I'm easy. As you can see, building a monster truck isn't easy. And now comes the real test, a science test of speed and acceleration. Both teams will race their four-wheel monsters on a 580 meter course, competing with each other and overcoming obstacles to see which truck is the fastest and most maneuverable. These homemade monster trucks will take turns racing the clock to cross the finish line with the fastest speed. Each team is racing the same distance, but there are still plenty of variables that affect how fast each truck can travel, and the team with the shortest overall time will win. First up is the truck built by the Ghost Mountain Riders. It speeds away from the start races over the scrap cars, and flies across the finish line. The Ghost Mountain Riders truck traveled the length of the course in 42.01 seconds. Go, go, go! The Law Dogs truck is up next, and wow, does it start off fast, over the scrap cars and racing back to the finish. This monster truck finishes in 39.10 seconds, 2.91 seconds faster. The team with the fastest time won the race. Congratulations, Law Dogs! The Ghost Mountain Riders finished the race in 42.01 seconds, while the Law Dogs finished the race in 38.10 seconds. The Law Dogs finished the race in less time, which means they moved at a higher speed throughout the race. More speed equals more energy. If speed and energy are related, we should be able to see the effects during a collision. We'll use these as evidence to describe an object's energy, sound, and energy transfer. Watch this game of pool. As you watch, focus on the white ball called a cue ball. What do you notice about its speed? What can you conclude about its energy? What effect did it have on the other balls? You should have noticed that after the cue ball was hit, it moved very slowly. This tells us that the ball had very little energy. It also did not move very far before stopping. What would you expect to happen when a ball has more energy? This time the cue ball will move with a different amount of energy. Focus on the cue ball. What do you notice about its speed? 
What can you conclude about its energy? What effect did it have on the other balls? You should have noticed that after the cue ball was hit, it moved at a faster rate than the first one. This tells us that the ball had more energy. We also know it had more energy because it moved farther and collided with the other balls. Energy was transferred to the other balls during the collision, but not much. The balls did not move very far or travel very fast. What would you expect to happen when a ball has more energy? This time the cue ball will move with a different amount of energy. Focus on the cue ball. What do you notice about its speed? What can you conclude about its energy? What effect does it have on the other balls? You should have noticed that after the cue ball was hit, it moved quickly. This tells us that the ball had more energy. We also know it had more energy because it moved farther and collided with the other balls. More energy was transferred to the other balls during the collision. The balls did move farther and traveled fast. More energy was transferred because the ball started with more energy. We recently used the Angry Birds game to help us understand energy transfer and collisions. Let's look at a new example to see how we can identify evidence of energy by observing the bird's speed and effects of the collisions. This is a special bird in the game. It is able to fly faster when you click it. This first flight is the bird's normal speed. What impact did the speed have on the tower? Part of the tower and some of the pigs were destroyed, but not all of them. The bird transferred some of its energy to the tower when it collided. The tower then began to move and hit the pigs. What do you think will happen when the bird flies faster? In the middle of its flight, the bird flew faster. That change in speed had a significant impact on the tower and the pigs. Can you relate speed and energy in this example? The bird had more energy because it had more speed. We know this because of what happened after the bird collided with the tower. A lot of energy was transferred to the tower, which made it fall quickly and destroy most of the pigs. We now know that speed is related to energy because of energy transfer and collisions. Let's explore another example to learn more about evidence of energy because of sound. Foosball is a game that can help us to understand how speed is related to energy. To play, you control plastic foosball players by twisting a rod. This causes the players to spin and kick the ball in different directions. If you spin the rod slowly, the players move slowly. If they spin the rod quickly, the players move quickly. The purpose of this game is to score points by getting the ball into the goal. In this first foosball example, you will see a slow speed kick. Focus on the orange ball. What sound is made when the ball collides with the player? What does this tell you about the amount of energy the ball has? Watch this first example again. The ball was kicked at low speed. 
the sound of the collision was soft because little energy was transferred into the air when the collision occurred. The ball moved a short distance before colliding with another player. The ball moved at a low speed and did not have enough energy to move another player. We know this ball had low energy because it moved at a low speed and made a soft sound when it collided. In the second foosball example, you will see a high speed kick. Focus on the orange ball. What sound is made when the ball collides with the player? What does this tell you about the amount of energy the ball has? Watch this second example again. The ball was kicked at a higher speed. The sound of the collision was louder because more energy was transferred into the air when the collision occurred. The ball moved a short distance before colliding with another player. The ball moved at a higher speed and had enough energy to move another player before continuing to roll. We know this ball had higher energy because it moved at a higher speed and made a louder sound when it collided. Today we used evidence to describe how speed and energy are related. We know that speed and energy are related because the time an object takes to move from one place to another means that it has more or less energy and how much energy is transferred during a collision. We were able to explain how energy is transferred by looking at the sounds that were created and then what happens after objects collide. See if you can find more examples of these collisions and speed and energy in your daily life.